Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Jerry and you're watching 3D HP and I fixed the MPCNC. Thank you very much for your comments online and below my video when I had trouble on the video I just posted. What was it yesterday, the day before? But I solved the problem. I went ahead and I clipped the two zip ties holding two of the belts. I tried to run my Y axis and the motor basically go neat, 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 neat. It wasn't actually turning. So I looked at the control board and I had made DuPont connectors on that and those DuPont black connectors barely clip into the control board. So I checked them all out and I realized one of the wires in the DuPont connector wasn't seated properly. So I got it pressed in all the way. I hot glued them in the connector and then I put them in on the board. I checked everything and then I hot glued them to the control board. So now the MPCNC works properly and I printed out something really cool and it's almost perfect. Uh, there was one small nick on the pine board when I started that you'll see later, but if you don't look for it, you don't really notice it. But with the price of wood nowadays, I didn't want to throw it away, and I couldn't use the other side. I already had some screw-ups on it from a few days ago. But I hope you liked the video, and I will mention again what the problems were with the MPCNC. Now, if you're wearing earbuds, they might be kind of loud on some of this. The MPCNC is loud, but it's not so loud that I feel I need to wear ear protection. And I do have an enclosure which helps to muffle it. But when you're looking at it in person, it's really not that loud. So, I mean, my hearing is slowly starting to go. But, yeah, whenever you use loud power equipment, it's always best to wear earplugs or earmuffs. In this video, I don't, but I do wear my safety glasses when I'm around any kind of dust, debris, tools that are running. Something could break and fly off. You don't want it to hit you in the face. So always wear the proper PPE, whether it be a mask, glasses, ear protection, and or gloves. But I hope you liked the video, and please like, subscribe, and share. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. As you watch your work in candle, you can see the tool path there, the orange, right up there near the eye. And that's what it's currently carving. And as it does, completes an area, it turns it light gray. So all the areas that are done in light gray are already completed. And will just keep running and they disappear as it finishes an area. But it's coming out really good. It's looking really nice, guys. Let's run over here to the machine, take a peek. Yep, it's looking nice. As soon as that's done, I will uh, go ahead and vacuum it all out with my shot back, and uh, and then we'll come back and check it out. And she's done. Awesome. 
me uh, turn on my shop back here and let me clean this mess up real quick and then we'll move on all righty everything's vacuumed up and looks pretty good inside let's go ahead and pop that loose take a screwdriver as you can see i've got blue tape on the bottom we glue down with 2p10 which is super glue and activator work really good anyway let's see what we got here Ooh, that came out nice so i think i'm going to uh I gotta blow it off, but I'm gonna paint that and then sand the top off and then we'll, the black will pop. But it looks really good. So, emblem from Witcher, found online. Really cool. Well, here we go. I took a torch and I burned it, as you've seen, and uh, hit it with a clear coat. Looks pretty cool. There's a little blemish right here above my thumb. That was there before I started. That's when the thing was screwing up a couple days ago. I figured it might retract the same lines, but it was anyway. That was just a booger, so that's no big deal. But it came out really nice. And this will be the logo for Witcher, I believe, the best of my knowledge. I found a picture online. I went and put it in easel. I done a trace on it. Set up some basic settings in Easel, exported as a G code, loaded it in Candle, homed out my axis, uh, zeroed out my axis, axes. I brought my XY over here to the very center. I, I made a mark with a pen, a pencil, and uh, then I brought my Z down. Just barely touched it. Basically, take a piece of paper, get it to barely touch, zero out your Z, raise it up, turn on the Makita, and run the job. Now, one thing I still got to do. With this box right here, I have to refresh my memory, but I believe if I run wires off the fan header on the CNC control board up to here, that when I start a job, it will activate these two outlets, which will start the spindle, or I can do like I've been doing and hit it manually. But, uh, and the problem that I had that I resolved is I went ahead and I disconnected the two zip ties on the two belts for my y axis that was grinding i went in a candle and i ran it and both the motors were kind of doing this back and forth just a little bit kind of screwing up they weren't constantly turning and i found out that my connectors on my board down here one of the pins on the connector wasn't dupont connector wasn't in properly and that was causing the whole problem so once i got that figured out and solved i went ahead and i got a hot glue gun i hot glued the connectors to make sure the wires stay in the connector and then when i put the connectors in the board i hot glued them in because they don't really snap in those dupont connectors in these boards that they're not the right type of plug and they barely sit in so now that they're hot glued that should be solved so uh yeah so that's very cool so now i can start making some projects and i want to hook up a shop vac to it and uh after each job i will just uh Try to keep it wiped down and very clean. That way, hopefully, things don't break down and gum up as fast by keeping it clean. So, thank you for watching, everybody. Please like, subscribe, and share. And happy uh, cutting. Later.